Hello friends, in this session we will be dealing with the errors of product that is multiplication and quotient that is division. As we had seen in our previous video, for any uh, arithmetic function we should have two values. What we are going to do is we are going to multiply two values that is a into b and our a is equals to its real value plus minus its absolute error delta a and b is equals to b plus minus delta b now for its resultant value z plus minus delta z obviously we need to multiply a plus minus delta a into b plus minus delta b now opening the brackets we'll be getting a b plus minus a delta b plus minus b delta a plus minus delta a into delta b and here we are having z plus minus delta z now dividing lhs with z and dividing rhs by a b note down the last delta a into delta b over here will be neglected because delta a is an error part an error part will always be very very less compared to our real part that is our real part is a and b so compared to a and b our delta a and delta b will be very very less for example if delta a is 0 0.1 delta b is 0 0.01 then obviously their multiplication will be 0 0.001 which is very very less so we can neglect it that is neglected and we will be dealing with only the three terms that is a b upon a b plus minus a delta b upon a b plus minus b delta a upon a b and this side we will be having z by z plus minus delta z by z so we'll be getting 1 plus minus delta z by z that is equals to 1 a a will be cancelled out we'll be getting delta b by b plus minus b b will be cancelled out that is delta a by a this one one will be cancelled out and the relative error delta z by z will be equals to delta a by a plus minus delta b by b now we will be having two values for this one value is delta a by a plus delta b by b and another value is delta a by a minus delta b by b and as i said earlier we have always considered we have to always consider the maximum value of error so maximum relative error we have to consider hence delta z by z will always be equal to delta a by a plus delta b by b and similarly we can also prove this for division so let us see So for division again we are having two values a is equals to a plus minus delta a b is equals to b plus minus delta b and now our z is equals to a by b that is division and consider their absolute errors a plus minus delta z will be equals to a plus minus delta a upon b plus minus delta b now as we know we are having uh, b plus minus delta b in the denominator so we have to multiply with its conjugate as it is a standard mathematical expression hope you know this function so on numerator we are again having a plus minus delta a and b plus minus delta b so their resultant will be a b plus minus delta a b plus minus a delta b plus minus delta a delta b 
and in denominator we will be having b square uh, minus plus delta b square and that is our resultant plus minus delta z now again performing the same function that is uh, dividing lhs by z and dividing rhs by the value of z and here value is a by b now because we are dealing with uh, division before that see we are again having one delta a into delta b which will be neglected and we are also having delta b into delta b which will again be neglected and hence our equation will become will have only b square in the denominator side so we can cancel out b with the b and again z by z plus minus delta z by z will be equals to a b plus minus delta a into b plus minus a delta b over a into b and again our equation will become 1 plus minus delta z by z that is equals to a b by a b that is again 1 plus minus delta a b delta a into b upon a b plus minus a delta b upon a b so a a will be neglected b b will be cancelled out a b a b will be cancelled out here 1 will be cancelled out with this one and finally we will be again having delta z by z will be equals to delta a by a plus minus delta b by b and the two possible values from the two possible values we will be selecting the maximum one so we are having delta a by a plus delta b by b that is one value and delta a by a minus delta b by b that is the another value and we will be always selecting this one even for division hope you have got the point thanks thank you so much